My What's On My iPhone videos are some of the most popular videos on my channel and I honestly don't even know why. I'm not even going to pretend like I don't watch 8 billion of these every single month when I want to reorganize my phone. You guys have been begging me to make a What's On My iPhone for my new phone because you guys literally keep track of my phone like no other. It's kind of like crazy. I've maybe done like four of these and I don't really want to repeat the same content over and over so I decided to make a video all about my new phone I'm going to show you guys my favorite apps that I use how I edit my Instagram photos how I make cool different stories how I get that like moving picture thing how I make my backgrounds and we're also going to go with phone case shopping. Ignore the fact that I look like a seven-year-old girl. Let's get into it. This is my phone. Long story short, <laughs> my dad's job changed. So when he changes jobs, he has to get a new phone with a new company. When he switched jobs, he had this phone and it was kind of laying there. And I was like, well, it is an upgrade for mine. So I got it for free. I didn't really have to pay for anything. Also, my mom needed a new phone. So I decided to give her my old phone and I'm giving away to my friends and my mom, my old iPhone cases. And also my brother needed a new phone. So my mom gave my brother her old phone. So it all worked out really well. Plus I didn't have to pay for anything. Like there's going to be this phone lying around. So this is the iPhone 10. Uh, it's the black one. I have this kind of pink sand case. It's super similar to the Apple one and I really like it. Um, it's super durable. There's a lip on it. I just love the color. You guys know that this like minimal pastel-y pink is one of my favorite colors and the charger doesn't get stuck which I hate. That has to be one of the worst phone case flaws there is. So anyways, um, even when I'm like wearing glasses or just look super ugly, like it still recognizes my face. If you guys want to see how I organized it and just how to declutter your phone, you can click the I. So to start off, I have the photos row. On that, I'm going to show you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. This one is a photo that I actually did really well on my Instagram. These are my favorite filters. I have all my favorites saved on the bottom. So C1, E1, E2. E2, E3, C9, C7, C6. And then these are kind of like weird ones or if I wanted to make like a super moody vintage or black and white visco post, I'd use these ones. The filter that I use on 97% of my Instagram photos is C6. And I just love how it makes the colors look. And I turned it down to maybe 11 or 10. This one is a bit dark, adjust the exposure. What really is good about this filter is it makes, if you have like blue or green eyes, it makes them pop even more, life hack. A tip that I have gotten and I have been kind of studying people's Instagrams lately and I noticed that people who match their outfit to their background have such good photos. So I tried it out with this one. It makes a photo look so good. So definitely try that out if you wanna like up your Instagram game. Saturation, I put up to 0.3 because this filter is already super saturated. I turn the highlights down a bit and the shadows down a bit just so that it's a really bright photo. I always turn the tint to more pink instead of green. I just like the look of that better. And I always turn the temperature up a bit. Uh, then I go to the HSL and I'm pretty sure this is like a Visco X thing, but you can also do this on Lightroom and it's free. Basically, I will turn down the red saturation because this filter makes your skin look so red. I don't know. That's like the one thing I don't like about it. And if you wanted to make yourself look a little more tan, you can always turn the luminous of the brown down. Oh, also, if you guys want to follow me on Visco, my username is Sadie A. Aldis. I basically post just like extra stuff on there. The last thing that I do to my photos is I actually go to the photos app on the iPhone. If you want to edit your photos really quickly, I would definitely suggest just editing them on the photos app on your phone if you have an iPhone because it actually does so good. Like it's definitely comparable to Visco. Press auto and it basically just makes the colors like blend together. It makes it look so much more professional. And then I'll just play around with it. Like the brilliance is a little bit too high, but you can see the before and after is really sick. It'll balance out the highlights and the shadows, which is what I really like about it. I'll just play with all the settings. And that is the finished photo that I would definitely post on my Instagram. This is a selfie that I recently took on my old phone, so the iPhone 8 Plus, and it's the front camera. So the front camera definitely does not have the greatest quality. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it look the best. So I'm gonna go to Visco and I'm gonna use the C6 filter again and turn it down a lot. Put the exposure up a bit and this is going to make it kind of grainy, but we're going to fix that later. Sharpness up, highlights down, and shadows up to get rid of those shadows on my face. Make the photo more pink, a little warmer. The next thing I do is I go into Lightroom, and Lightroom you can have a paid subscription that gets you like way more stuff, but you can also have a free subscription, which I have, and I just use all the free. 
features. What I do if I have like a grainy photo, I guess is what I would use this for. I would go to detail, noise reduction, and it basically smooths everything over. Like I don't know how it does it. That's before you could see the tiny little grains that the exposure was giving it and that's after. So it's making it super smooth. That's like a bit much. And then I will sharpen it again and it just makes the quality look so much better. Like that's before and that's after. I actually posted those to Instagram. So yeah. Another thing that I want to show you guys is the app called Story Art. This is an app that gives you so many story templates. Some of my favorites are film. So if you go here, they have little film collages, Polaroid things, super cute. Like look how cute those are. You can make them move. So it's like photography animation. If you have a photo, it's going to like zoom out or they'll like come in like that. And it's just really cool. Digital is one of my favorite ones because it has this really cute little like MacBook window. Super recommend. I think I actually invented that term, super recommend, super recommend. Finally, I just wanted to show you guys because some people don't know about this yet and I honestly don't know how they don't know about this. The Visco Disco feature. So you slide to the right on Visco and then press Disco and you get a moving picture like that. And the filters that I usually use on Visco Discos are F2, C1, B1, and A6. I just have socials here and I have TikTok and unfollow, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. All my social media usernames are down below. Feel free to click on them if you want. The next row that I have is productive. Literally all of the basic apps that you can have. I have today to do to buy and packages that are incoming because sometimes I literally lose track of the packages that are coming. Then I have entertain. <laughs> I have so many things on here. You guys definitely know YouTube, Netflix, new news, TSN, and house party. Over to the second page, I have pay. Some of my favorite apps here are Freshy. I haven't gotten Freshy in so long. I think I wanna get that today. I think I actually wanna get that today. Well, Stocard is an app where you can keep all of your points cards in one app, so I don't have to bring them with me like in my wallet and stuff. And Starbucks as well. Then I have the health line, and you guys know I am obsessed with seven minute women. I have been using this for so long. They have such good workouts. They update their workouts a lot, and they're so super short and intense. Fat loss, abs, butt, arms, back, legs. There's also ones that don't include jumping, yoga, Pilates, stretching. And they also have these programs. So it's kind of like the Chloe Ting programs. Wow, there's like 12 week ones, there's two week ones. This is kind of nice. Okay, well, I just discovered that. Progress, you can see how many days in a month that you've worked out and it'll automatically keep track of that. And guys, I got a new phone, so I downloaded this. So do not get mad at me. My best streak is actually way more than three. That's just because I got a new phone and everything reset. So also I did the Chloe Ting challenge. If you guys want to see my results, I put it on my TikTok and my Instagram story. I also have the Dexcom Clarity app, which I would recommend for any diabetic to get. And it basically, you can see the blood sugars from like a week ago or like a month ago. You can like track your trends. It'll give you a guesstimate of your A1C. Like it's such a good app. Definitely recommend. Then I have school and I'm not going to talk about any of those because I'm just not going to talk about them. The next one is contact. Super normal. Then I have travel and if you guys live in Toronto, there is this really cool app called Path Map. If you like to not be freezing when you're walking outside in the city, I definitely suggest getting this. Basically, it's an underground path that goes all through Toronto. Like there are so many different places that it leads to and it's all underground so it's so helpful in the winter hit list which I have not made any progress on it basically keeps track of the percentage of the world that you have seen I've been to 2% of the world six countries and 11 cities last page I have the folder I don't even know and definitely my favorite app on this folder is the smart life but I have my lamps connected to my Alexa so if I just press the on button they both turn off. The last thing I want to show you guys is how I made my background. And my background is super cute. I have it filled with a bunch of my friends that I am missing so much right now. And it just makes me happy whenever I look at it. I also have a whole board on Pinterest about wallpapers. And once again, for my background, I use the app Story Art as well. And it's just super easy because it already is the like 9 by 16 size that fits your phone perfectly. The only thing is just I couldn't put it on perspective zoom. So like it doesn't move around when you move your phone. But but, you know, you gotta give to get.
going to be doing some phone case shopping. I actually don't think I've ever bought a phone case online except for the one that I ordered here. This one is from Amazon because usually companies send them to me and I don't usually have to buy them for myself, which I'm so thankful for, which is so nice. Literally the first thing that I do is I always search minimal phone case iPhone 10. This is the one that I got, but in a different color. Boring, 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 boring. Okay, this is, this is not. Feminine minimal phone case. Society6 actually has such good cases and I've never ordered a case from them. They basically take a bunch of artists' art and put it on phone cases. The faces in the dark one is sick. I love these. Like, that's actually sick. Whenever I'm online shopping also, whenever I like something, I always open it in a new tab just so that I don't have to like click favorite and then it will take me to my favorites and then I have to go back. You Do You is really cute. And I'm just gonna say modern. Oh, that's so cute. I wish it came in a different color, the bonjour one, that's so cute. I have to get some inspiration. Let's go on Instagram. Phone case, Luxie Lemon. Oh, that's cute. Oh, wait, no way. That's a battery case. Oh, I like those charging cases. This is such a good idea. I remember I used to have a Mophie case, but it was kind of bulky, so I didn't really use it that much. Oh, I like this one too. Oh, they also have AirPods cases. Fun fact, broke my AirPods case. Very sad about it. Also, my AirPods, only one of them work, and I don't understand why. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. Like, only one of them works, but sometimes they both work. Comment down below if you have that problem, because I have been to Apple twice, and I still don't know what the problem is. Holographic. Oh, roses. Marble. Cheetah. Mermaid tail. That plaid one is so wildflower one. You can't even tell me that that's not. Okay, I really like this one. I kind of want a cow one. Not bad. The Louis one. Okay, these are like deaf. I'm kind of getting scared. Oh my gosh, wait, they follow me. Oh my god, that's so cute. Phone rebel cases. Okay. Guys, I remember like the first PR package that I ever got was from Get Chroma. They sent me like three phone cases and I was like, I'm rich. I feel like I have such a specific taste that if a brand doesn't send me a phone case, I wouldn't have picked it out, but I actually do end up liking it. You know what I mean? Oh, this one's really cute. The thing is, is now I have a black phone. I like how the pink case makes it lighter. Okay, I actually really like this case. So I'm gonna add that. Oh, that one's so cute, but it won't look good on my black phone. Oh my gosh, they follow me too. Diamonds drip case. Oh my God, I almost fell backwards. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to velvet caviar. Oh, oh. I need that. Look how good that looks on the- Okay, I need that right now. Oh, the jalapeno on it? You're kidding. Oh, I like this cute little eye one. I feel like that wouldn't look too bad on my black phone. Oh, the butterflies. I don't know if I like it just because it's on a rose gold phone, but I am going to look into it anyways. I need your guys' opinions on these cases. Vote in the eye which one you like best. So we have this flower charging case kind of rose gold black eye case. The star case, which I actually don't really like anymore, so I'm gonna take that off. Polka dotty kind of abstract art case. Starry case. This eye case. Or the butterfly case. Yeah, that is going to be it for this video. And I will also link my phone case down below for you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.